Hey, this is Katie Drummond with Wired.com, and I'm here today at the Army's Telemedicine and Advanced Technology Research Center. Uh, we're with Colonel Cora Padich, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about uh, some of the programs they've got going on. The big project that I'd like to emphasize, Katie, is the use of technology to capture vital signs at the point of injury on the battlefield. Right now in Afghanistan, if you can get to a level three or a combat support hospital, this is a big field hospital, you've got a 90% chance of surviving your war wounds. So what we're trying to determine is what happens to the 10% who don't survive. On the battlefield, there are soldiers that are deployed into a, a, a hut zone, let's say, they get out of their armored vehicle and they start walking through a neighborhood. And then if one of those individuals gets shot or a bomb goes off, they capture that soldier and put them into, let's say, an evacuation, uh, a medical ambulance. And inside that ambulance is the Tempest Pro physiological monitoring device that's connected to the tactical radio. Those vital signs are then populating a trauma combat casualty care card which contains the vital signs and other information that the medic or corpsman may have used to treat the patient. For example, I gave the patient 10 milligrams of morphine, here's the heart rate, blood pressure, pulse oximetry, all these different physiological parameters that we measure. That electronic trauma combat casualty care card is sent through tactical radio into a higher level medical facility where other doctors or nurses can look at the results or that information can be downloaded into the theater uh, electronic database which could then be used to study how injuries are occurring and ways to prevent them or improve outcomes on the battlefield.